Good morning, Facebook. I know it's early this morning. My God, we've had a time in the Lord ever since Wednesday night. Revival's still going on strong at our home church at Grace Covenant. Last night was amazing. It's amazing to see how people still hunger for God's word. There's still a need in the land for, for people to be saved and for people to be set free. Amen. And I want to invite y'all to come tonight to, to Grace Covenant. Brother Andrew Hamblin will be there. He's a mighty man of God. Amen. And it's going to be a time in the Lord tonight. I uh, I just want to thank God for what he's doing for, for me and my wife. I mean, my wife stood boldly last night. We stood boldly together, prayed for the people, seen people set free. I'm in awe this morning. I woke up this morning in bed, and and all I could do is think about think about His people and 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 how when we truly deny ourselves, there was a lot of things we could have been doing last night on a Friday night. There's probably a lot of things that people are going to be listening to this video. You were doing things last night that you shouldn't have been a doing. Amen. But I hope today you find God. I hope today that you find the peace and the, and the restoration that he can send. Amen. Because God's doing some great things. Sunday morning, we're going to be in London, Kentucky. Uh, it's right off the exit. Uh, it's at Common Ground Church. Uh, hold on, I want to give you the address. Uh, bear with me just one second. I'll try to find it here. Hold on one second. Okay, I can't find it, Heather. See if you can find it. Anyway, it's supposed to be right off the exit, London, Kentucky. Uh, for all of our Kentucky friends, if you ain't got nothing going on Sunday morning, come out there and be with us. Heather's bringing the word. Uh, I'm expecting God to do some big things. The address is 1798 North Main Street, London, Kentucky, zip code 40741. Amen. God's up to something. God's up to some big things and some mighty things. Amen. He's put a charge upon his people. Amen. To get out and share the word and and, and I bid you that if, if you're broken, if you, if you feel like your life has no purpose, if you feel like your life has, has, has no meaning, amen, come Sunday morning or come tonight at Grace Covenant because God has got a word for you. Heather's been in her prayer closet. Heather's been in her word. Amen. And, and I know that there's going to be some people set free. There's going to be some people renewed. Amen. My pastor, Charlie Craig, at Grace Covenant Church, he's the first person I heard preach that message about God's going to give you beauty for ashes. And for a long time, I didn't, I would amen it, but I didn't really understand it until I began to see it for myself. Last night, we seen a lot of people that had been beat down. They've been walking through the fire. They've been through so many fires. Amen. But they didn't have that fourth man standing in the fire with them. They didn't have the one standing there that's going to bring them through it and bring them out. Amen. But now I begin to see that, that God has taken things that, that the devil tried to burn down, that the devil tried to destroy. Amen. And God has given, given life back to it. God is making something beautiful out of it. Amen. If you're going through the fire today, I pray that you find that fourth man to walk with you. Amen. Be blessed today. Amen. And uh, if you ain't got nothing going on, come on down to Grace Covenant Church in Knoxville, Tennessee. I believe it's 5022 East Inskip Road. Uh, what's the zip code? I don't know. I don't know the zip code. Three. Hopefully somebody watching can put the address on the on the tagline on the video, but uh, my Lord, it's amazing. I believe the heavens are gonna open up tonight Amen. With, with Brother Andrew coming. <laughs> Amen, there's gonna be people healed. There's gonna be people set free. Hallelujah, and that's what it's all about. Hey Amen. I know there's a Bristol game going on today, but I began to preach last night on, on what's your season that you're preparing for. Hey Amen. A lot of people, they're running out today. They're getting their barbecue. They're getting their hot dogs. They're getting their hamburgers. 
Amen. They're getting all these things to, to fulfill what they think they need. They're trying to run out and get these things that they think that they need to be ready. Amen. But I'm telling you right now, if you ain't got Jesus, you ain't ready. That's Amen. Right. There's a divine appointment coming. Amen. He said he's coming back for his bride. Amen. And if you ain't ready, if you ain't ready, amen, you're going to be left behind. Amen. I don't want to see you left behind, church. Hey, he could come back today. He could come back tomorrow. Amen. So let's get ourselves prepared. Amen. I'm excited for tonight. Amen. Let's all come together and let's just see what happens. If I don't see you tonight, I hope to see you Sunday morning in London, Kentucky. Thank you and God bless. Hey guys, I just want to add one thing that the Lord dropped in my spirit as my husband was talking. We, um, a few years back, we were going to a church um, somewhere out in Knoxville, and we would drive by this tree every service, and it was a huge tree, so it had been alive for many years, and um, every time we would drive by, it would, it would, it would just stand out to me so strong because it was cut down. Amen. A storm had come and knocked it over and it was laying on the ground. But every time we would go by that tree, it don't matter if it was weeks later or months later or what, but there was always green leaves on that tree. So I want to encourage you today that it don't matter how much you've been cut down. It don't matter how broken you've been. It don't matter how many storms you've weathered. That life can still be in you. Amen. If you're breathing today, then you have purpose. I had somebody message me and tell me that they don't think they have purpose. But I'm here to tell you that's a lie straight from the pit of hell. Because if you've got air in your lungs, then God has got purpose for you. And you need to find out what that purpose is. Get in your prayer closet and find out what that purpose is. And know that you have something to do in the kingdom of God. Amen. I don't care how much you've been cut down. How much you've been broken how much you've been beaten there's still life inside of you yes, so be blessed today guys and find out what you're supposed to be doing and do it because time is too short amen for you not to do what you're called to do don't do what somebody else is called to do you do what you're called to do in jesus name be blessed